Yeah. Pops, on June 27th, the Federal Trade Commission put out a strongly worded memo letting car dealers know that they are coming up with and they've approved a new set of rules that would go into effect that would mandate the ways that car dealers could interact with their customers. You remember making a video about this? Uh, you know, I do. And I, I remember we talk about, uh, talked about this uh, a number of times. And thankfully, uh, we're going to talk about it some more. Okay, so the rules, as they were proposed, were that dealers could no longer sell products that don't have a benefit to the customer, i.e. nitro fill in your tire that has no more nitrogen than is actually in the air. That's an example. Mm -hmm. Advertising the real price of a car online. You know how if you go on joinyaa.com slash cars and you view cars, it has the out-the-door price there? Well, it would mandate that dealers need to do the same thing too. Crazy concept. Mm -hmm. Non-discriminatory practices for cash buyers. Doesn't matter if you're buying cash or finance and the price is the price and enhanced consent for F&I products. So people don't walk away sending you and me Instagram direct messages saying, hey, I didn't realize I bought all these things. There would yes. have to be enhanced consent for that extended warranty, that tire and wheel protection, et cetera, et cetera. Remember these? I, I do. And, and they all seem like, uh, well, very reasonable proposals to me. They 100% do, Dad. Now, the Federal Trade Commission, what they do, part of their rulemaking process, is they open up their proposed regulations to public comment. Mm -hmm. So I thought we'd take some time today to review some of the public comments and ask everyone who is a part of the YAA community to contribute a public comment to the Federal Trade Commission's review for them to look at. Yeah, I, I think that sounds very, very good to me. And the public comment period is is a 60 day period. And I believe as of um, Tuesday, July 19th, this won't air on Tuesday, July 19th. But as of Tuesday, July 19th, there were 55 days left to comment. Thinking about getting an extended warranty? Go to joinyaa.com and check out our pricing there. There's no obligation, no spam, no robocalls. YAA for your extended warranty. Okay, and we've got 59 comments that have so far been submitted. Dad, of course, the National Automobile Dealers Association submitted their comments on really nice letterhead. Looks very yes. professional, very official. They strongly encourage the FTC to not move forward with these regulations. And there's a host of reasons why. they, have In particular, they say it's just going to add a bunch of overhead to the process. It's actually going to make things worse. Dad, we've already asked our community to start to send in some comments. And I actually went here, and I encourage everyone to do this as well. You can search search by name. So for example, if you type in comments and you type Ray, you'll see Dad, that as of our filming this, out of the 59 comments left, 10 of them reference you. People wow. saying things like, thank you to Ray and Zach at Join YAA to pointing me to your proposed rule changes. I've learned so much, and that's from Brent Reynolds, from Heidi. I've learned so much about how dealerships should be operating from Ray and Zach with YAA. Um, you sent in your own comment, Dad, which I guess we could take a peek at here, I essentially did. saying, why yes. can't we do, you know, why isn't this already in practice? Yes. Well, it's pretty true. Why isn't it? Um, <laughs> it, it, just, it just doesn't seem all that hard to me. But then again, what do I know? Then, Dad, there's even people who are obviously not affiliated with us leaving uh, their comments. For example, Tomlinson Motor Company. This is an individual who submitted a comment before we've started asking our community yes. to. This is an independent auto dealer in Florida, the great state of Florida, that's come in here and said, I strongly support these regulations. It's a great example of a good dealer, Dad, trying to stand up against the bad dealers. And and, and actually, you know, it would be, it would be nice if if the National Automobile Dealers Association just embraced these proposals and, and said, yes, as the good dealers out there, we want to embrace these proposals so we can run the bad dealers out of business. Um, but uh, obviously that's not the position the NADA is taking, but they should. The real reason they should be passed is it's, it, is it's past time for consumers to be able to have confidence when they walk into a dealership to buy a car, that there should be a certain level of transparency uh, that everybody should want to participate in, the customer and the dealership. It sh the whole thing shouldn't be based on deception and fraud. So those are the main reasons why it should be done. And, and you know, there are an awful lot of good dealers out there who will complain about the the bad dealers, but when the opportunity 
uh, comes up to force those dealers out of business with regulations like this that will easily expose those dealerships that the FTC needs to look into, uh, the good dealers don't stand up and say, we're mad as hell. We're not going to put up with it anymore. We want it to be different for both us and the consumers. So that's the main reason, I think, that, that these rules and regulations should be imposed. So how about this, Pops? How about we ask everyone that's watching this video, take five minutes. That's all it takes. Click on the link in the description below. Go to regulations.gov and leave your public comments. Let the FTC know that YAA, Ray and Zach, just let them know that you're you're fed up, we're sick and tired, and yes. we want to see these rules passed and and enforced. We want to see enforcement of these because it is it is it is an affront on society that we have to go through this crazy dance to spend tens of thousands of dollars when in reality, Dad, billions, maybe even trillions of dollars of efficiency would be had if we just treated people with some fairness, some decency, and took all of the stupid inefficiency out of the process. I'm not saying that's what the FTC is going to accomplish here. They're going to probably going to add their own layer of complexity. Yeah. But ultimately, that's what we're driving towards is let's bring back truly millions of hours to humanity because it doesn't have to be this stupid way. I, I believe in my comment, if you were to click on it, uh, I, I yep. believe I asked the question is, what type of society are we that we would put up with this? Um, you know, there, there, there's something wrong in a society when commerce is built on deception. Completely agree, Dad. Super proud of the work that we're doing. Hopefully, everyone that watches this video, or at least a percentage of people that watch this video, go comment and make sure your voice is heard as well. Absolutely. We need we need to champion this cause. We need thousands, 10,000, 50,000, 100,000 people to to send in comments. For we we need we need a thousand people to counteract every comment from a dealership that's against this or from the NADA or NIADA. Um, you just, we need volume. It's just that simple.